and I got this other room. Now, this and this tube is connecting them. Question is, why aren't these balloons the same size because they like equilibrium? Yeah, because it's like corresponding vessels. That's Pascal's law. Pascal's law only applies to incompressible fluids, is, is the thing. So basically, uh, uh, water is incompressible, for example. So that's why uh, you get the effect with water. But for air, it's different. Air is compressible. That's why there's such a thing as compressed air. And so... It's a compressible fluid, and so Pascal's law doesn't apply. So these balloons actually stay the same size. Even if you try to compress the yellow balloon, nothing happens to the. Oh, do you see? A that? little bit. There you go. Now let's try it again. But now you applied pressure. Yes. <laughs> How do you explain this? Okay. I got it! I got it! I want to try it. Okay. I'm going to expand. How do you explain this? What's happening now? <laughs> Is this because you're applying pressure? Simon? Oh! What's going on? Oh, now? That was really interesting. I really thought the balloons would be different shapes. <laughs> Look at this, Neva! <laughs> the balloons are now the same size! Except <laughs> one of them is a pair! <laughs> But why did this happen? Okay. Why did they okay. change shape when you when you apply force? Well, why did they change shape? I don't know. Why did they change size? Well, it's because they change when I'm squeezing air out of there. The air goes to the other side. See that? But it doesn't go to the other side if you don't squeeze. Water would have gone to the other side. Remember? Yeah. You see this? <laughs> okay. I don't know why the shape doesn't. Oh, well, I guess it's just because they're originally different shape. All right, let's see. 